Hello Excel enthusiast. Do you want to develop search box like this one to search across large data set in an easy way? If yes, then buckle up for an exciting tutorial where we will not only create a dynamic search box for exact matches but also unveil a special feature of partial matches in the later part of this tutorial. So stay tuned for that moment and let's dive right in. Don't forget to subscribe now how and press the bell icon for more videos. So this is the data of more than 1000 employees where I want to make the search box. To make the search box, first I have to change this data into structured data by converting it in the form of table. To convert it in the form of table, I'll press the short key that is control T. When I press the short key control T, this create table box open here I will simply press ok I can choose between different styles my next step will be to copy the headers of this table and paste it over here I will simply adjust the width of the cells now I will make the basic structure of the search box for this purpose, I will go to the insert tab and here in the illustration, I will select the rectangular shape and draw this shape over here. Once I draw this shape, I will go to the shape fill option and here I will select the no fill. Then again, I will go to the insert tab and then to illustration. After this, I'll go to the pictures. I'll select the place over cell. And in the place over cell, I'll select the stock images. When I click it, it will open the stock images. Here, I'll go to the icon. And I will write the glass. And here, I'll select this magnifying glass and click the insert button then I will adjust this search glass into my rectangular box now again I will go to the insert and then I will go to this text I will select the word art and I will write search box I will select it and change the font color what I like and place this search box over this search window. After writing the search box, I will go to the developer tab. If the developer tab is not enabled, you can go to anywhere in this ribbon tab and right click and then go to this customize the ribbon. And here you simply check the developer and press OK. So because my developer tab is already enabled, I will cancel this. And I will go to this developer tab. And then I will click this insert. And here under the active X control, I will select this text box. And draw the text box in this rectangular window that I have created. Once I draw this text box, I have to make some adjustment. For this purpose, I will right click it and select properties. And here in this huge array of different options, I will simply make two adjustment. The first is that I have to link this search box to any cell. So I will go to this link cell and here I will write H1. Because I want to link this text box to the H1 cell. The second thing I will do is to remove the border of this search box. To do this, I will go to this special effect and then select it to 0. After this, simply I will close this properties box and your search box is ready. 
So you can see that if I write phase over here, the same text will be appeared in the cell H1. So because I don't want to show this duplicated text, so I will change the font color of this H1 cell to white so that nothing is appeared in this cell. So now you can see that the basic structure of the search box is ready but nothing will happen because there is no formula that link this search box to this table or the data. To add the formula, I will go to this first cell and I will write equal and then I will write filter bracket start and first I have to provide the array. Array is actually the data from where I want to search in so I will select the whole data by going to this first cell and then press ctrl shift right arrow and then the down arrow. After this I'll put comma then because I want to search by names so I will select the first column of the name by pressing ctrl shift down arrow. Then I will write equal H1 because my search box is linked to this cell that is H1 and then I will put comma and if nothing is matched I want to write the text like no match. So I will write it in inverted commas, close this bracket and hit enter. So now for example if I write any name over here. the complete data of that name will appear here. I can change the name and get the complete data. But one thing is that I can only search the data by putting the correct and the whole name. If I just type the part of the name, nothing appear and it shows the no match because I have used the formula of the exact match. But it will be very nice if I write for example the half or the partial name and get the whole list of the names that contain the part of that name. To do this I have to make some changes in this formula to shift it from the exact match to the partial match. For this purpose I will go to this formula and here this part of the formula will be changed. So first I If you found this tutorial helpful, please like and subscribe for more Excel tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next video.